Hey guys, it's me, a little Surfetch, and welcome back to the Pokemon Pl Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time, we did the Pokemon Mansion mission that Drano added into this, and we got a Mana Fee, which we're not going to use because I already have a amazing Water type in Luke. And yeah, our team's up to level 42, and today we are headed toward Salacion Town. Where we can find those ruins. The unknown place. And get unknown. And also there's something pretty cool that I have read about in Salacion Town. I haven't... Actually... I haven't checked the Pokemon... The Pokemon... See if any new Pokeballs are being sold. If they're selling Great Balls yet. Yes, they are. Yes. I'm going to sell every single one of my Pokeballs. $800? Wow, that is a steal. And by that I mean they are stealing money from me. <laughs> okay, let's buy a couple of these. Uh, it's 30 should be enough. We've survived this long on Pokeballs, but it's now time to use actual Great Balls. So let's head out to Route 208, which we've already got an encounter from, but I just want to, you know, just head there. Who is this person? There's a Rexstone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. It's, oh, yes. We can get Spear Tomb. I forgot, because I got the odd keystone earlier, a few episodes ago. So we can get Spirit Tomb. Okay, I'm going to give you back the Muscle Band so your attack is increased and then I'm gonna switch you out and then we'll go here sure I get to, to have a good run isn't that exciting oh intentionally no I said no I said no hello sir okay so I think those guys you have to talk to in the morning and the cops you talk to at night. Do I have to do this double battle? Is this a double battle that I have to do? Because if I have to do this as a double battle, uh, we're going to do the strategy of Rachel and Zach. Here we go. They're the, they're the duo that we use for double battles, Rachel and Zach. They're just great at duel battles. Despite the fact that if Rachel were to accidentally use Ice Beam against Zack, it's not going to end well for anyone. Okay, let's get Flareon out of here because we're quad. We're weak to Flareon. We need to get Flareon out of here. Yes. Yes. That works perfectly. Thank you, Rachel. Now Flareon's dead. And now, oh shoot. Oh, that shouldn't kill. I should tank that still. Oh, that was close though. Ouch. If it would have gotten a crit, I would have been dead. Because that is the one problem with Zack, is he's quad weak to ice. That's a big problem. So, obviously, the Snowpoint Gym is not going to be a good one for him if he even stays alive till then, because you know how my Nuzlocke's on these series... Stop, I'm trying to press up. You know how my Nuzlocke's on these series go. Not good. At all. Sir, so, yes, there's an item here. I will take Giga Drain. I don't care for it. It's not... As amazing as Seed Bomb. Yes, let's fight Pikachu. So I think we'll be able to make it to Bellstone today, and then... We're not going to take on the Bellstone Gym next time, or this time. We're actually going to head to Pastoria as well, because if we can. 
I don't know if they've blocked off, if he's blocked, or if Drano has blocked off Pastoria. I have no clue. So we'll head to Pastoria if we can, and if not, I guess we'll just hang out at Veilstone, because there is stuff I want to get there. I want to get some proteins there for our dear friend Ralph, who's kind of suffering a bit on the attack stat. I mean, why do you think he's got the muscle band? <laughs> he's suffering a bit. Just a tiny bit, but a bit is still a bit. Unless we're not going to be able to make it to Veilstone, because I don't know if there's a quest that we're going to have to do at Salacion Town. Who knows? Usually, what... you In, so in Storm Silver, a bunch of quests were added at cities that aren't important to the plot. Like the Safari Zone city, so there's probably something at Salacion Town. There was one... At Route 212, but that was a route. Ah, oh, what? Why do you have six Pokemon? Why do you have six Pokemon? That's not okay. You can't have six Pokemon. That's not okay. Magby. Okay, we are switching out because I don't want to deal with that. I think the oldest members on our team are somehow still Luke. Luke just never leaves. Obviously, our starter is the oldest member on the team, but we also have Snow Runt, who evolved into Frostlass, and they're like the oldest trio. Beatrice and Ralph joined within the last, like, three episodes, so they're... They're... Not... As new, but they are new. They're not new. They're not old. But they're not... They're not new. But they're not old. They're, like, in between. Kid, we can deal with that with Zach. I hate trainers that have six Pokemon, especially gym leaders. I bet if I had to guess, there is probably going to be something at the Salacion Ruins that we have to deal with with Team Galactic. Unless they're just going to make us head to Veilstone. Because Barry said he was going to Salacion. I don't know if that was an indicator of, yeah, something's going to happen there. Or if that's just... That's the next town. I don't know. I really don't know. Beatrice, you've got this. You can do it. Why is... Camera up so tiny? Look at that. He doesn't make it... That He doesn't even make it over the health bar. Look at how tiny Beatrice is. Uh, sure, we'll stay out. Because I've got Earth Power. Yaw. So that one just had a bunch of baby Pokemon. It makes sense that this person was a Pokemon breeder. It makes sense that this person had a bunch of baby Pokemon. Albert. Can I get my spirit tune now? Over. Oh, no. Never mind. You gotta go talk to this woman. Sure. I have no choice. You kinda just turned around it. Why did you make me do this? Couldn't we have just moved on, game? I don't wanna fight these. Trainers. These are trainers that you fight in between episodes, not during episodes. Because there's six Pokemon. Oh yeah, I love one thing about 
Smeargle that I love is that its shiny is actually its original colors back in gold and silver. That's the same with, uh, what is it? Uh, it's the same with Spinarak as well. Back in Gen 2, Smeargle's actual colors were red instead of that green. And it adopted that into its shiny, as well as also becoming a little bit golden. And then Spinarak used to be purple, but then it turned to green in Crystal, and its shiny became purple. I don't even know what its shiny was back in Gold and Silver. I could look it up. That's, like, easy to do. Uh, switch to this one. Yeah, I really like how they've changed some Pokemon. Uh, Smeargle. Let's go to Smeargle first. Can I have Satabi? Thank you. Yeah, so in Gen 2... How am I supposed to tell what's the shiny? So in Gold, Silver... Its actual colors were red on the tail instead of green, and then it switched to green in its later form in Crystal. And then Spinarak... Where's Spinarak? Here we go. Uh, Spinarak just had the same shiny throughout all of the series apparently but its original colors used to be roughly the same color as nowadays shiny spinnerack used to be like a brighter purple ah yes my favorite thing about Igglybuff how it looks like it's on some sort of drug it's scary I also as much as I do like Charizard Shiny nowadays, I wish they would have found some way to keep its original shiny because the purple and green looks actually really good. I mean, obviously the red and black is so much better, but purple and green, that was pretty cool too. Only everyone hates green shinies, except for the fact that, like, almost none of them are bad. People are just hateful toward everything. Okay. Yes. Yes. Spirit Tomb. It's level 30. Not even close to the team. We could. This is our sixth member. Um. Well, we would have to see. Because I tried to use Spirit Tomb in Storm Silver, but Henry didn't make it through the series. That was an easy catch, though. So I know exactly what we're going to call this thing. Henry was in the original series. It's the Forbidden Pokemon. I think it's base. I think every stat is 108, I think, or something like that? No, because I would make it, like, legendary stats, and... I don't know. One of... Some of its stats are 108. It's... Spiritomb's got a lot of stuff to do with the number 108. Henrietta. Henrietta. It's like, I think... Spirit Tomb is like 108 souls trapped in one stone or something like that. What item do you have? The smoke ball. Okay. Don't care. Um. Okay, I need to do this. Uh. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stardust. There is an area over here that I can reach with the bike, but I have to be fast about it. It's hard to do, but it's over here, and you have to be fast about it. 
Nope, it was not fast enough. Okay. No, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Okay, hold on. I got this. There we go. And now there's like an item here, I think. Yeah, we're candy. This one's hard because you have to go past that. Because you can't go here because you're not fast enough. So you have to turn the corner in order to get it. And it's really difficult. But it's not too impossible. It's not impossible. It's just very difficult. I know he's like trying to do it because, yeah, there is a rare candy back there. Rare candies can be really useful if you don't feel like trading up at the league. And instead just want to feed your Pokemon rare candies until they're sick. Because candy is not good for you to eat all the time. Okay, we have to do this double battle up here. I could try to skip over it. Oh, uh, I could head up to the Defog Tower, too. So that's where you get Defog at, is that tower. I can get an encounter there, at least. And then, maybe in between episodes, go up to the top of it. I'll at least get my encounter there. And then we'll head to Slazy on Town. We'll see what our encounter will be. Is it going to be a Ghastly? It's probably just going to be a Ghost-type. Which I'm not going to use, because I already have a good ghost type. And her name is Rachel, and also Henrietta, because we have another ghost type in Henrietta. That'll probably be on the main team in the next episode. I just have to train her up. You know, from level 30. I mean, I got the lucky egg now, so it shouldn't be too impossible to do. Okay, let me get off the bike so I'm not... Hello, sir. This is the Lost Tower. Do you get a separate encounter in here? Or is this Route 209 still? Uh... You know... I think this is the same route as the route. I know people have counted this as a separate area before, but you know what? We don't need a ghost type. Strangely, it just vanished recently. Hmm, I wonder why that's happened. So yeah, we don't need a Bayonet. Who no wants a Bayonet? It's a dumb Pokemon. It's not as cool as... Frostlass. What do you want? Oh, hello, welcome to the Lost Tower. Are you interested in hearing about the ghost type Pokemon? There's an old folktale that tells of the nefarious ghost type Pokemon that was somehow able to travel across time. He was famous for his deeds. Uh, are you talking about... Are you talking about Dusk Noir? Oh my gosh, she, she might be talking about Dusk Noir from the Mystery Dungeon games. Oh, I love that game. It was a ghost type that was able to travel through time. And that's what Dusk Noir did in the games. And he was nefarious and cunning. I think she was talking about Dust Noir. Yahoo! Hey, bitch! I got something cool. All she was a special favor. Huh? What the? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Oh, right. The ruins here are cool. You have to check it out. I even found a hidden machine. It was default. I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to use it. Anyway, I'll bother you another time. See ya. So, uh, hmm. I love the music here. This is really calming music here. There's nothing here. Well, nothing but plenty of time to think about. Oh, right, we have the ruins here. Why not take it through that? Every Sunday I visit the Lost Tower. Oh, what's the house? What's... I was told something about, like, a training part. Is it over here? What's your name? Fetch, that's proper to name. Are you probably needing training? Yes. Okay. Pokemon able to improve a stat if they battle Pokemon that specialize in that stat. I've got teams that can help you with that. Oh, and experience too. If you want to just level up, that is. You want to talk to me if you feel if you need any help. All free of charge. This is a starter pack for you. Bear with me. The power of racer. I think it's a bunch of the items that like uh 
increase the stat, but lower speed, I think, is what they do. You got the power brace, power belt, power lens, power band, and the power anklet. I think that's all of them. Nope, there's the power weight. They're all done. Equip those items to your Pokemon to speed up training for a specific stat. Now, if you want to train, just come back here and chat with me. So, yeah, that's how you get the stats and the experience boosts. Because I think... I think, if I remember correctly... I'm, I'll buy some berries, actually. She's got a team of Chansey that just have, like, Healing Wish, I think, so they can't kill you. Got some Pomeg Berries, some Kelpsy Berries, some Qualit Berries. I have no idea what these do. The Hundu Berries, like Honeydew, but just Hundu. The Grippa Berries. Tomato Berries. What do these berries do? I think they're Polka. They're uh, ingredients for Poffins. Yep. Yay, it's Poffin Ingredients. I'm so happy I wasted $5,000 on Poffin Ingredients. Never made a Poffin a day in my life. Mostly because I just never did contests in Diamond and Pearl. Until, like, this series. So I never really tried to make one. I know there's a way you get, like, the little mini game in this. Oh, was oh, that just Gen 3? I think that's just Gen 3. The Poke Block Maker. I don't know how you make Poffins in this. Pikachu, I want to become more like Pikachu. Will you battle me? Pikachu. Pikachu. You got a full team of Pikachu. You got Pikachu, you got Pikachu, and you also got... Eevee. But it's dressed as a Pikachu. I like how there's different Pikachus. You got, you got Pikachu, you got Big Pikachu, you got Tiny Pikachu, you got Blue Pikachu, you got uh, it's, it's Pikachu with plus and minus on their tails, you got a Squirrel, but it's Pikachu. You got a Flying Squirrel, but it's Pikachu. You got it's the Disgrace that is the Dene. You got round Pikachu, you got Pikachu that doesn't like showing his face or else it kills people. Yeah, that's a thing that Mimikyu can do. And you got Pikachu that gets really angry when he doesn't get something to eat. More Peko. Also known as the Hangry Pokemon. Give a shit to the daycare. Okay, that was fun. I guess I got to battle Pikachu. There's a cafe along the way where you get some rest, though. Okay. It's not that long from there. I've played this game before. I'm gonna give the ruins a miss this time. Uh, we should head to the ruins and get an encounter there. And then... You did that on purpose. We can get seals here, too, I think. Yeah, the ruins here. Oh no, please no, don't do anything. Oh, hello, are you here to see the ruins? Let me introduce myself. I am Lucian, a user of Psychotype Pokemon and a member of the Sinnoh region's Elite Four. Ruins are wonderful things, you know? They're like books. They have the thoughts of many people recorded inside them. It allows the thoughts of the authors to stretch beyond time and space. Oh, well, you're a trainer, are you not? Are you training any Psychotype Pokemon? If you are, the technical machine will teach them a powerful move. It's psychic! Amazing move. Absent for the research to conduct, so I must take my leave. Take care. Perhaps we'll see each other at the Pokemon League someday. Goodbye, Lucian. Please don't fight me. Okay, let's get our encounter here. Unless I can't get... Oh, yeah, this one, you don't get an encounter. It's the next floor. You can get an item here. Let's get our encounter here. It's just gonna be unknown. Yay! I got Unknown J! Yay! 
Remember the unknown challenge? Was it the unknown challenge? Is that what we called it? Where we sat here trying to get unknown for like 30, 40 minutes. It was fun. It was real fun. It was tedious, but it was real fun. That was honestly one of my favorite videos that I have recorded is the unknown challenge. And yep, we're just gonna call you Jay. Just gonna call you Jay. Okay, goodbye, I never wanna see you again. I'll come get items here later. Okay, so Defog is not in the tower, it's in the ruins. Okay. That makes, I guess, sense in some sense of the word. Um, we'll head to Veilstone, we'll get to Veilstone, we'll try to skip as many trainers as I can. Uh, let's grab some super repels, actually, while we're here. We'll try to avoid as many trainers as we can, and then we'll get to Veilstone, so I can at least buy the attack boosting item. I can buy protein in between episodes. But Veilstone is this way. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Now, if we are careful... Well, actually, I need to get an encounter, so... Let's get our encounter, and then we'll use a repel. What is our encounter? Oh, great, it's the Tauros. I'm so happy. I'm so happy you could give me a Tauros, man. Definitely a Tauros is what I needed. I guess I didn't need a Tauros. Okay. That's cool. You know, I just, just wanted an encounter, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's, it's cool. I didn't need an encounter. I mean, I did complain about it, but, you know, it's cool. Oh, I read something about Route 215. There was, like, an item or something I could get here that I needed... Was it? I can't remember. Was it a TM? What was it? I'm gonna have to look. But I swear I remember seeing something in Route 215 in the document that I needed. I don't know. But I need to know now. Um. Renegade Platinum. Let's figure this out. Hold on. There we go. Nope, that's the wrong spot. Rampardos. Uh, okay. okay. Hold on. There we go. What is it? Item changes. We'll find this out. I promise. Uh, black glasses. Yes, that's what I need for dark type moves. That's what I was wanting. No. No. If I want to heal, I'm not going to use a move. Healing moves are so dumb, because why would I heal with a move when I could just use, like, an energy root or something? Excuse me, but I need to go this way. Okay, we can get encountered here now. Let's go here. Get our fight over here. We'll get our encounter here, and then we'll head to Veilstone. I think there's a double battle that we're going to skip the double part of it and actually just make it a single battle instead. I know, it seems as though I'm using Zack for, like, every single battle, and that's true. But when my team is, like, not very strong, and Zack's, like, the strongest one that we do have on the team, I think it's understandable that I do use Zack in every battle. I don't use him in every battle. I'm not gonna face a ice type with him. But I mean, why wouldn't 
I try to face, you know, a water type with him. Just saying. Yeah, Ice Beam. No, he punched me with fire. I should, I should love that, yeah. I was gonna say, I should tank that. One, it's raining. I didn't realize it was raining, but yeah, it is raining in two. It's not stab. So I was sure I was gonna tank that, and I did. Kill. We did it. Oh, I think you have the Lucky Egg on. I think Rachel has the Lucky Egg on. Uh, is this black glasses? Survey says yes. I got the black glasses. And now, I never have to see any of you again. What's my encounter? Lanoon! Yay! I'm so happy. I could just cry. I could just cry. Seriously, you couldn't have given me like any better item, like any better Pokemon, like come on. I don't think of anything else. I mean, whoa, Lanoon! I got a Lanoon? What that's so cool, man. I am really sad that I got a Lanoon. I mean happy! I mean, granted, Zizagoon is one of my favorite Route 1 rodents of Pokemon, but, you know, just because he's adorable, not because he's super useful, which he's not. The Russian Pokemon. What well, should I name you, Lanoon? I'm gonna call you... Lilith. I'm gonna call you Luz. Just like the character from... Uh, it's, um, Owl House at the show I'm trying to think of, and, like, almost failing it. Okay, let's be careful. Ha, I skipped past you. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, let's get the repel on. Uh, you know what? Let's do a little switch up. Beatrice, it's your turn. You got this. I believe in you. Is there an item here? Is there an item here? Is there an item here? No, but there is one here. Yay, I can evolve my... I can evolve my Sneasel. Yay! Oh yes, I can make my voice hyper! Yeah, let's go run forever! The full heal and the double battle, but we're going to make it a single battle because I'm not stupid. It's raining. Please don't have a water move. I would be really sad. I would actually cry because that would surely lead to. Beatrice's death. Just, you know, for... I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it! I shouldn't have jinxed it. Shouldn't have jinxed it. Isn't that just swell? Isn't that just swell? Oh, great! We could have really used that Pokemon, couldn't we have? Could have used Beatrice here. Except for the fact that it is raining. Why? Out of all Pokemon, why? Why? Out of all moves, why did you have a water type move? 
in a rain. There's already not that many fire types in Sinnoh. What am I going to do? You know what? Just realized. We can get Torch Hip. Because I have said that I wasn't going to use the other starters, but I think at this point, we're going to need Pokemon. I feel like using the other starters that the news reporter people give us. So we can get Torch Hip. And what that gives us, it gives us a fire type and a fighting type. Just saying. Shoot, what was the Pokemon that it just sent out? Uh, the Philosophils, it's sec. So I can train up Torchic and Henry in between episodes, and I'll try to find... I'll try to find out how to change names. I don't know where the nickname person is. I really don't. Uh... NPC changes. That's how we're gonna find it out. Snowpoint City. It's not. Please don't let that be anything. Item Fanatic. Give stick. Move Relearner. Move Tutor. Training NPCs. Where is okay? A platinum. Alright, there we go. Where is the name writer in this game? Locations. Inside of Turner Condominiums, first floor. So, yeah, I think I do have Torchic. I think I did get Torchic. I think the only one that I didn't grab was Mudkip. But technically, it is a static, or it is a gift Pokemon. I can use it. I just don't want to use every single starter that I get from those people. How about this rule? We can only get another starter from them and use it if the starter that we got previously from them is dead. Which means I can get... Um... And Torchic, because Trico died, and Charizard died. Oh man, that makes me sad just seeing that. So we can get Torchic. I'll train up Torchic in between episodes. So yeah, that'll be our rule. We can get a starter from them, another one, but only if the starter that we got from them before is no longer here. No longer living. In other words, dead. It's dead. And since Trico died really early on, we'll go get Torchic. Because I already have Torchic in the PC. I just haven't used it, obviously, because I didn't want to use like every single starter. Because if we were going to use every single starter, at this point, it'd just be like full of starter Pokemon on our team. Except for the fact that I would never replace Luke. Luke's too amazing to replace. But hey, we need a fire type. There's not that many fire types in Sinnoh. I'm gonna take Torchic. I'm gonna take Torchic. Plus it's a fighting type. That really helps us too. Not specifically for this next gym, but it will definitely be really helpful for Snowpoint City Gym. Because, like, literally fighting and fire are the two super effective types against Candice, Candace's gym. I just watched the episode with Candace the other day. Okay, that's fine. The one where Ash fought Candace. I fell asleep during it, though, because I was really tired. But I know Ash wins because Bulbapedia exists. So I have to like rewatch the episode to make sure to see how Ash wins.
We did! We're in Veilstone. Yes. Uh, dark pools. Dark pools. Sure. Get rid of Discharge. We have a good fun. We have a good electric type move in Thunderbolt. We can do this. Goodbye, everyone. I'm heading to Veilstone. So that's it for today's episode. Please, Barry, don't fight me, or I will. I will cry. I'll do it. I will cry. Don't think I won't. I will cry. I will cry, Barry. Don't you do it. Sir, the rare candy over here. Is it over here or is it on the other side? I think it's on the other side of the building. I know there's a rare candy here. Nope. Stark Pulse. I was wrong. So yeah, that's it for today's episode. Next time, we're going to have Torchic trained up. And we're going to head to Pastoria, too, if we can. If not, well, that really sucks, doesn't it? Oh, uh, can I get an item here, actually? Sort of, like, items here. I'm going to check, see if there's, um, meteorites here. What, what are here at the meteorites? So yeah, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys... Next time, where's, where's the item? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.